So maybe I felt to mention, but uh, he is the owner or founder of the Instagram page, Disturbing the Peace. And that's where I basically found him, saw what he was doing. I was like, this is crazy. Um, love the cause. It's it's different than just like, it's not a spotting you know page at all, whatever. It's a guy with his cause doing projects, sharing the story, um, which is very much in line with, you know, any Pedro, it's passion. So tell me about what, how you started it and what it is now, what you want it to be. Yeah. So originally I started it, obviously everyone's got their personal Instagram page uh, and I, as most petrol heads are, follow other car pages and it's cool, but I wanted there to be a page like specifically focused on my cars. You know, a lot of guys, they have the page, but they're not posting their cars. They're posting everyone's cars. Yeah. I wanted my cars and I wanted to be, I basically, my, when I started this page, I was like, I want to do something different. I want to take over the Cape Town car scene. That was my intention. And uh, to be honest, I feel like I'm on the way there. It's, it's a very uh, apt um, name. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 made, it's made quite a, made quite waves with, yeah. quite big waves with the car scene. and It has the police and the public <laughs> it's, uh, it, it's become quite a quite an accurate name and i didn't know that at the time um it kind of just it came to me one night i was just sitting and i you know i decided i'm going to start the page never really did anything big with it until i bought the liberty walk and obviously the liberty walk helped me get a lot of traction uh, it already kind of had its own following up in joburg where the car was purchased yeah because racist cars do have their own followings and then from there i think people saw how I drove the car. It wasn't just a garage queen. I actually drove it and, you know, I drifted and I spin and do donuts and all this stuff people want to see you do. Yeah. And I'm not doing it with cheap cars and I feel like that also makes it a little bit more of a, a little bit more appealing. So it's, yeah, it just started as a page to kind of have some fun and show people what I like to do and now it's gained some serious traction and I've got some pretty big goals for it. I wanted to, you know, I've got some, some goals of the amount of followers I want and, yeah. you know, eventually it become a, a household brand in the in the Cape Town car scene and then hopefully the international car scene as well. Yeah. And do you want to do, do you want to make it a full-on business with brand collaborations and partnerships Absolutely. and stuff? Okay. Absolutely. Oh, you're already doing that with like ATM tuning. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, okay. It's already got me a few sponsors uh, uh, and I've, I've been working with these guys for, for a while and yeah. I, I get quite a few, quite a few offers as well. But I also don't want it to become a, a generic brand where, just because I've got X amount of followers and, oh, sure. you know, if a printer company approaches me, there's no relevance. Even if they're offering me money, it's it's not going to, yeah. it doesn't tie in with the page. It's not adding value at all. Exactly. So I, I'm kind of keeping it exclusive in that regard. So okay. it's, I, I want it to be cars. I don't want some random printer company to sponsor me and I'm advertising their, their goods on my cars or whatever it may be. It's not, yeah. it doesn't speak to me. It doesn't speak to the cars. Yeah. It's very much like if it's not in line with what I want to do, mm. that's a no for me. Exactly. Realistically, and uh, don't take this arrogantly, I don't need the money. You know, if, you, if you're throwing money at me, if it's for the right reasons, I'll take it. But yeah. I, I'm not going to, you know, I, I'm not going to brand my car in a, printer, yeah. a printing company. Yeah, it's not it, the goal. it doesn't benefit me in any way. So yeah. I'm not going to do that. So usually to end off, I ask guests this like portray to me show me your dream three car garage and and then i have a daily classic car and a super car or like your mad weekend toy okay okay? is it can i say that you have your dream garage or is there still cars you'd rather have in that three car garage that's a tough question i'll be honest with you right now i think i have my my dream cars there's no car that i look at and say Wow, I wish I had that car. Yeah. The, yeah, it was an M3, E92 M3. It was a F80 or F82 M4. It was a Nissan GTR. To be honest with you, I, I currently have my dream cars. It was okay. a big turbo. M, and all these things that are, these crazy ideas in my head come from somewhere. And yeah. I think that's where they come from. So is there any cars out in this world or builds possibly in your imagination that you'd still want to happen in the future or is this just down to what cars or brands are going to release in coming years so probably both of the yes to both of those questions okay. so obviously there'll be more in the future um i've got some uh, some builds that i'd love to do mm. um first and foremost um and it may happen it may not uh, we'll see what happens i don't 
want to risk the motor plan on my daily GAT. But if I have two G80s, I might make one of them an absolute animal of a car. Uh, there's, I know there's a, it's not the G80, but it's the X3M in Joburg. Okay. Uh, same motor, and he's running stupid fast times yeah. uh, with just a tune. I would love to turn a G80, because I know this car, I can feel this car, the potential of this car is on another level. Yeah. I'd love to make the thing an absolute weapon, because already as it stands, it's a weapon. So yeah. uh, a, a dream would be to, to modify the hell out of one of those. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, to be honest with you, another car that I, I really want and in the near future I'm probably going to get is an F80 M3. Um, and, and I want to make that thing an absolute, a big single turbo S55 forged motor. It's, it's been done before, but yeah. it's, it can be done again. Yeah, it's totally it, fine. It, it can be done better. We love to see it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I know what I want to do with that car. And then my next thing that I, that I want, uh, my, my friend Imad is actually getting me into it, is uh, track. I, okay. I, I want to build a couple of track cars. Yeah. yeah. Now I can see you going into that. You've already done some track days, so yeah. now why not get a bit serious about it? Exactly. You know, have your own build. Business is booming, hopefully. So yeah, business is good. Yeah. Let's say in a few years' time, We'll have some track tours up in... Absolutely. Okay, or or cool. a few weeks' time, actually. Or a few weeks. <laughs> you, you like, I'm, I'm not limiting. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think just the last thing you mentioned, something very interesting, is like, you don't really like supercars. You, no. Yeah. It's not that, like you have a, a resentment against them. Absolutely you just not. don't prefer. Maybe finish, finish us off with that. What's your motive behind that? So... It's not that I don't like supercars. Everyone can look at a supercar and appreciate it and love it. And I've got all the respect for Porsche and Ferrari and Lambo. And I think they could be cool cars, but it doesn't fit in with what I like for cars. I like a car that I can make how I want it. Mm. Um, even if you consider a Porsche 911 GT3 RS as the perfect car, and to be honest, I would as well. <laughs> it's not perfect for me. Yeah. It's the perfect car for the mass, but that doesn't make it my perfect car. I like to make my perfect car perfect for me. Yeah. You may drive my M2 and absolutely hate it, but for me, it's exactly how I want it. Yeah. So, yeah, I've, I've got all the respect for those kind of cars. It's, I just don't feel like owning one. Yeah. And that may change in a few days, a few weeks, a few months, a few years, but as it stands right now, I'm not a fan. And I've driven them. I've, you know, I've been behind the wheel of, of most of these supercars that you can that you can think of, I've driven yeah. Porsches, Lambos, Ferraris, almost any supercar or semi supercar. Yeah. And I've I haven't just driven them like you know around the block. I've I've spent extensive time with these cars. Yeah. And they're cool, but it's it's just not what I want. Yeah. There you have it. Um, I think it's a quite cool view and opinion. Like that's what that's what when it comes to being a petrol head or having a massive passion for cars is about. Like it's about what you want to drive it's about what you want to see in a car exactly. so if you like old honda ballads and modifying them then that's fine you know 100%. go for it um but yeah thanks lorenzo for joining today it was such a lovely conversation i feel there's a lot to be learned still but uh, for me of course but yeah i feel, feel i gained a lot of like experience um in this too but yeah usually i'll end it off and i'll say rather love cars because it's better than drugs yeah, there we go. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you.